So, thank you so much for being here. Welcome to the cool days, uh, um, well, first to the opening session, but for the entire day full of presentations. It's, uh, it's awesome that, uh, that, that you are here and that, uh, that you are able to be with us uh, for, uh, for our conference. Uh, so, of course, uh, the conference wouldn't be uh, possible without, uh, without you people. So, uh, so thank you very much uh, for like being here, uh, for those who, do, who do are not presenting, and thank you very much for you who are presenting and uh, uh, and also uh, also uh, like attending the conference at the same time. Like we have uh, we have tried to uh, to um, like get uh, the pictures uh, of of you who are presenting here uh, into this slide. There would be no conference without you. So so it's awesome that uh, that 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 you are with us and, and you you allow us to to have this uh, uh, have this uh, uh, conference. I don't know how to switch slides. Yes, well, probably I won't be able to be on the screen at the same time. So this conference is actually like exactly one year after uh, we have uh, we have done the move. Uh, so you can maybe remember uh, that one year ago uh, there was uh, still like LibreOffice online project. Uh, but we have decided uh, to move it out of the, the uh, TDF infrastructure. But it doesn't mean that we don't, do not support LibreOffice uh, anymore. LibreOffice is an essential part uh, of the server side of Collabora Online. Uh, so we are fully supportive of the, of the project. Um, LibreOffice is a great project and uh, uh, there would be no Collabora Online without the LibreOffice. So it's totally essential and uh, and Collabora, of course, is uh, still part of uh, the Document Foundation, serving in various bodies there and uh, supporting it in general. So LibreOffice rocks, we want it to succeed. Um, still, uh, Collabora Online is now a separate project. It is hosted on GitHub. GitHub. Um, so we have uh, our own infrastructure, uh, so that is uh, like GitHub for the code and review process and WebLite for the translations. So for the translating, the process is uh, still like very similar to what it was uh, um, before on the TDF infrastructure, like the, the WebLite was used even uh, even there uh, on the, at Document Foundation, but for GitHub, uh, the processes have changed tremendously. So uh, thank you all who like help with this transition and who uh, like got used to uh, this these new processes um it is like the tool looks different in the first place then like we started to miss the git review uh, that that we were using in the tdf infrastructure instead like we had to uh, we had to adapt uh, the the commands that are using for pushing to github so that it is uh, uh, it is easier. Uh, Miklos has done uh, lots of work there, so that like uh, there's one command that creates the branches and and creates the pull request from there. But then on the other hand, the rest of the process um, is like similar to those who uh, who were uh, doing some some projects on GitHub already. Um, that is connected uh, to that we are starting to build or building uh, our community uh, for Collabora Online. And uh, um, it has shown um, like its uh, uh, its its fruits uh, because uh, uh, like if you can see uh, that there have been like many contributors uh, since the move. So so there were like three thousand six hundred twenty six commits by one hundred thirty seven people, and uh, like this counts both code and uh, trans uh, translations. So one more than 100 people actually didn't have the Collabora email address. So, uh, so, so big thanks to the 71 uh, translators who are not from Collabora and uh, big and huge thanks to the 38 non-Collabora code committers. We appreciate your work uh, that you are doing that. 
we hope that it is fun for you because uh, I hope that is the ultimate reason uh, for contributing uh, to Collabor Online. It is supposed to be fun. It is supposed to be like feeling well uh, that you are doing that. And if you are not feeling appreciated, we are doing something wrong. And please do tell us like what we should, what we should improve. Uh, from the Collabora people, uh, let me list those uh, who have uh, who have contributed and, and committed stuff uh, into, into the Collabora online. But of course, uh, we list also the people uh, who have contributed code. Uh, so thank you guys. Uh, I think some of you are even, even now uh, listening to the talk. So I hope that you are able to find your name. Um, so you are a hero when you are contributing code to Collabora Online. Thank you so much. And uh, the same is for the, for the translators. It is awesome that, that you, uh, you are able to, uh, to um, help us with translating to so many languages. Thank you. You are heroes too. And some of the people uh, that have been among the committers, and I list here only those that uh, that um, do not uh, have the Collabora uh, address, uh, are uh, present here at the conference and presenting their talks. Uh, so huge thanks, Alexandru, um, for uh, for the talk. How cool is used in uh, one on one. Uh, Gabriel uh, from the same company about stability and cleanup improvements uh, in online. And uh, thank you, Alexander, uh, kinds for all the things uh, that, that, that you are doing for the look and uh, that, that you are going to present, uh, present about that. Of course, uh, Collabora Online cannot exist by itself. Um, I think you all know, but let me just repeat that. Collabora Online just focuses on, on the editing of the documents, editing them collaboratively in the web browser by many people in distant locations. Um, but the actual storage of the files is something that we do not, we do not sort out uh, in Collabora Online. We need to depend uh, on the, on the um, partners or integrators that actually integrate Collabora in, uh, Online into their solution. So um, we are using a wopi alike protocol. Uh, so we have some extensions and, uh, and uh, use uh, some, some ways like how to do it like much more, uh, much more closely um, to your solution so that like you can modify the Collabora online to your needs. You can uh, theme that you can do like whatever, whatever you need. Uh, so that it fits you well. Of course, uh, if it doesn't fit you well and you do not find like how to do that, we are happy to help. And uh, even like you can contribute uh, additional improvements into Collabora Online so that like it fits more into your solution. Or on the other hand, like you can work with us uh, as a partner on improving the integration from our side so that it fits your solution much better. There's a talk about uh, uh, about uh, integrating so there's SDK creating new integration and of course uh, uh, we have here also presenters of people uh, of, uh, of uh, partners uh, and uh, integrators who have done their integration already uh, so huge thank you uh, to Paul uh, for Symfony bundling integrating Wopi and Collabora online Julio Sertel from Nextcloud for the Nextcloud integration update. Birgit uh, Becker uh, for eGroupware integration update. Uh, Shantia Kandhari uh, about Matimost uh, integration. Ashot uh, will be talking about the Moodle integration and Willy Klozak um, about, uh, about own cloud and Collabora, on, um, Collabora Online inside uh, their infinite scale. So thank you for being here and uh, being able to present uh, about the, the status and update of the you know, of the integrations that that you are doing.
um, about the practical bits uh, about this conference. So the conference is uh, just one day, just today. It is going to be like quite a long day. We have lots of talks. Um, the infrastructure for this is using big blue button, as you have uh, probably noticed. Uh, the big blue button um, uh, software was provided by Arawa, who has uh, created the server setup and uh, Scaleway uh, is providing the bandwidth. So thank you both uh, for, sponsor for sponsoring this conference this way. Um, it makes it much easier for us. Uh, thank you. And uh, regarding the task, um, the tasks are supposed to be like reasonably short. So each task is supposed to be uh, something about 10 minutes. Um, we have grouped them into the blocks of six to seven talks. When you are presenting, it is uh, good to be there for the entire block. So because like sometimes uh, the, the talk may overrun for a minute or two, sometimes it may be a bit shorter. So uh, like it is, uh, I think, better that we do not wait for the like very exact time and then the talk starts, starts, it is much better to be there for the, uh, for the entire, uh, entire slot of these six to seven talks. After, uh, after these uh, six to seven talks uh, in one slot, uh, there are questions and answers at the end. But I think uh, if there's something that like should be done interactively, um, I think you shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be afraid to raise your hand, and the presenter will be able to see to see it and uh, and react on that in case like it's uh, it fits their style. Um, and uh, like after the questions and answers, uh, there will be a short break. Um, sometime around the the lunch time in Europe, there will be like larger break uh, for lunch. Um, I apologize uh, to people who are from different time zones. It is uh, like uh, that we have to adapt it to, to one of the time zones. And at the moment, like most of the presenters are uh, are from Europe. So so this was uh, the easiest way, like how to how to do it. Uh, most of the talks will be live. Um, there are a few that are pre-recorded, so they will be uh, they will be run um, uh, from YouTube uh, inside uh, this big blue button. So, like the experience will be very similar to what uh, what you are seeing with the live talks. Um, but most probably, you will experience that the people, uh, well, are maybe better prepared because they do not feel the stress of uh, of the live streaming. And of course, it is our first conference. I hope that it will be an annual conference, uh, but like it is the first one. So please bear with us if it's not perfect. Uh, there are, of course, things uh, we uh, will be trying to improve, like we will be, uh, and we will be appreciating your, your feedback. So if you, um, if you uh, will see any room from, for the improvement or anything that we should do better, please look, let us know. The user channels, like tell us on the, um, uh, on the, uh, on the IRC, on, on, or on the telegram or email us to hello cloveronline.com so i think that is mostly it uh, for the technical stuff of the conference and uh, um, so the last thing for me is just to repeat it is awesome that you have here uh, that, that that you are here thank you for much uh, so much for contributing to collaborate online, being interested in collaborating uh, online, being here, and I hope like uh, you, and I hope you like the conference. Uh, we will have thirty six talks, um, and uh, in addition to that, the opening and closing session uh, by thirty one presenters. Each session about ten minutes, um, organized in these uh, blocks, uh, which should to take about uh, one hour. So I hope uh, like. You will like this uh, this format of the conference and and yeah, looking forward to what comes next. So that's it from me.